on a bearing that has been shock loaded. The race cup of the bearing can be dented. What is this type of bearing failure called? Brunelling. Brunelling is defined as indentations in the race caused by impact loads or vibrations. The parking brakes are properly adjusted if the brakes are fully applied after the control has moved to what level of its available travel? One third to two thirds. One third to two thirds is the industry standard. Technician A says a vehicle can fail a parking brake performance test if the linings are contaminated. Technician B says worn out service brakes will not affect parking brake performance. Who is right? Of only. Technician A is correct because contaminated lining will drastically reduce stopping distance and gripping power. Technician B is wrong because vehicles with rear drum brakes use the rear brakes as the parking brake. Therefore worn out brakes will affect parking brake operation. The front wheel bearings are being adjusted. Technician A says you torque the adjusting nut to a specified torque and back off the nut till it lines up with the hole and install the cotter pin. Technician B says backing off the castle nut will cause the bearing to overheat. Who is right? Of only, you torque an adjusting nut to a specified torque and back off the nut till it lines up with the hole and install the cotter pin. Technician B is wrong because backing off the castle nut will not cause the bearing to overheat.
a truck with a hydraulic brake booster has a spongy brake pedal feel. Technician A says there may be air in the master cylinder. Technician B says the power steering belt may be slipping. Who is right? Of only, air will always create a spongy pedal. Technician B is wrong because a slipping power steering belt will affect boost with no effect on a spongy pedal, the pedal would be hard. with the brakes applied on a vehicle with power brakes. The pedal moves down slightly when the engine is started. Technician A says the cause could be a leaking power brake booster diaphragm. Technician B says the cause could be a stuck closed residual check valve in the hose from the intake manifold to the power brake booster. Who is right? Neither A nor B both technicians are wrong because this is how power brakes are supposed to operate. A vehicle comes in with a complaint of excessive pedal travel before the brakes apply. Technician A says the master cylinder pushrod adjustment is incorrect. Technician B says the cause is a faulty residual pressure check valve admitting air. Who is right? Of only, Technician A is right because if the master cylinder push rod is too short there will be a delay in application. Technician B is wrong because a faulty residual check valve will cause a spongy pedal due to the ingress of air.